Welcome, day 15, yay, lovely blue sky, dipping the right angle. Anyway, I am in the greenhouse and I am having going to have a quick weed round. Look at the weeds that are taken over in here. Something has munched up my rocket. I'm kind of thinking a dash out. I don't know what else would eat all that. I'm going to have a final pick of all my lettuces. I keep saying that and then they keep growing back. Spinach is going to have a picking as well. And then I'm going to go down the allotment. I'm going to take those spinach down. I'm going to maybe keep some in here as well. The greens, lettuces I'm going to actually plant in here. I think I'm going to plant these garlic in here as well. Keep the little beasties away. Um, I've got a lovely tray of rocket down there ready to go. Some in here, some down the allotment. And my showmaster onions. I'm going to leave them in here for a while longer. I've brought everything outside for the weeding. This is the pickings I've got of the spinach and the lettuce, just by picking the outer leaves. In here, all I'm doing, because I'm definitely no dig, no till, whatever you call it, I'm just giving the ground a little shush, and whatever weed doesn't come out with the shushing, I'm actually picking it out, not digging it out. These are the little lettuces that I've overwintered in a seed tray. They've just had their first pick in. Spinach is picked. And the lettuces that I have actually overwintered in the ground. Oh, is that too shady? Oh, can you see how far they've grown up and how much of the outside leaves I've picked over the winter? I don't know if you can see, we just got down the allotment and I have spotted my asparagus. This is the third year they've been in the ground. I sowed them three years ago, so they've had... So this is like the second year of actually coming up out of the earth. Still can't pick them. I'm going to let these not grow as well. One more there. Very exciting. In the protected cage, it is covered with butterfly netting obviously the butterflies getting up my greens with their little caterpillars and also pigeons from eating all my peas we sowed peas outside a couple of years ago which is fine last year we sowed them outside and they ate a lot hence sowing the peas over there the first ones this year over there i am about to take all of the purple sprouting broccoli and the kale and the cabbages have all gone to seed. But look how pretty that one is there. I'm liking that flower. I just might leave that in. So I tried to twist them all out, but some of them just wouldn't have it. The roots are too big. Like this one here. But all cabbages, kale. And purple sprout it's in broccoli are now gone i forgot about my lovely flowery one that i want to see what the flowers turned out like so i've left another one in just starting to rain the wind had blown a plastic cover from somewhere and deposited itself all on my broad beans look they're all bending over they're not snapped i'm hoping that they get to stand it back up again Just about to start putting the polytunnel top back on again. We are going to pickaxe, dig around the outside of it so we can bury the cover in it, in the ground. Trenches are dug. This has been helping. Been doing a bit of weeding quickly. Now ready for the cover to go up. Oh, it's a bit windy. That wind is picking up now. That's going to be handy, isn't it? Which is we're trying to put a cover on. Blast of wind. It's on, but honestly, it nearly blew away. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> Just had huge gusts. I almost gave up putting it back in the bag again. 
Hello, Polly Tunnel is on. What a battle we've had. It just got so windy just as we were doing it. Double trench, didn't we? And then we pulled the plastic down and drilled through the other wood, which we placed all the way along to hold the plastic down. And now we are about to backfill the trench. In, finished, done. It was a mighty quick chucking back the earth into the trenches. It is starting to rain again. The worst possible day to have done this. You can hear the rain. And the only thing, the last thing we've got to do, which we won't do today, but what we normally do is in the zippers I normally put some um, zippy ties on there and a hook in that and they normally hook down there so the wind doesn't blow open and blow it all off again. Let's see if it's here tomorrow. We're getting rained on seriously now.